What's going on, everybody? Uh, DA back again with another boxing video. Man, this has been a very, 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 uh, well, not so much traumatic, but a very, very sad day in boxing. On top of all the shit that has been going on lately with Paul Williams losing his ability to, uh, to walk from a motorcycle accident, we have a, uh, another boxer, Hector Camacho, who was, uh, shot in Puerto Rico. I believe, I think the, believe the bullet entered his jaw, exited his head, and hit him in the shoulder. I'm not sure, I didn't read the initial reports because I just couldn't read it. It was just, I just got it from basically from what I've heard and what I read on television and in a few news articles. I lightly skimmed him. But I believe today he's been, he's clinically brain dead. And he suffered cardiac arrest as well. So I'm not, not really sure what the family has planned for Camacho when it comes to pulling the plug, as they say. Like, I just really know subtle way to put it. I mean, I feel bad for the guy. I've seen Camacho fight. I've seen it. I've watched his son fight. And it's, it's really difficult to, to actually know that in the world that you, that these boxers that you've grown up watching can just fall from grace like with with like a little to no warning at all like yes i understand that these are people but when you have when you see no where we know where they are where they where they stand as far as you know hierarchy you know you have civilians you have celebrities and you have athletes you know they're all up in the sky and you're just like wow like there's nothing can ever touch these guys these dudes have so much money they're invincible Obviously, reality slaps you in the face and realizes that they are humans just like you. And yes, they can suffer the same fate even more tragically than some, you know, normal folks out there, you know, on the middle class level. I just, I hate to see a guy. I mean, I've never been a fan of Camacho. You know, I, however, I did root for him when he did fight Oscar De La Hoya way back when. It's just... You got to set aside athletics, competition away from humanity, and there's I, I, there's no human on earth, with the exception of a few, that I believe deserve this type of treatment. You know, I, I don't know how it happened, why it happened. You know, whatever Hector Camacho was doing that led to this event is obviously his business, and I'm not going to get into that. It all come it, what it all comes down to is the fact that this man could possibly be taken from us after having such a illustrious boxing career, you know, and everything like that. I mean, the guy was on an episode of uh, Martin, I believe. No, was it Martin? No, I think it was Wayne's Brothers. That's what it was, Wayne's Brothers. Excuse me, scratch that last, it was Wayne's Brothers. You know, and uh, I just had watched, I just had seen that episode not too long ago, too. So now it's kind of difficult to actually have to take in all this very tra very tragic news it's gonna be a tragedy if he's taken away from us but i do understand that you don't want your loved ones to be in uh to be so you know to be left suffering if you know that you can help it you know so my heart goes out to the camacho family and any other close distant relative you know especially on a holiday like thanksgiving being so close to christmas and the turn of the new year so many things have happened since, you know, since before this happened. It just it just hurts, hurts my heart to know that this guy won't, won't be able to sit down and share the love and compassion from his family and, you know, all this. It, it just really, it, I hate it. It really, it really gets to me, you know. But, you know, like as I said, my, my heart and, you know, prayers go out to the family. Um... Uh, that's, a, that's as far as any more up to date news, you know. I may make another video about it, but I think we all really need to sit down and understand that what these bo that uh, aside from what these boxers do on a daily basis or how their careers have gone, it's really ironic in a way where they can risk their lives in the ring for entertainment for their fans and the people around the world, but yet. They can be their their lives and, and everything can just be ripped away from underneath them like a rug, 
in a matter of seconds in the real world. You know what I mean? So I think all of us as boxing fans really need to sit down and really need to understand that life is not to be not to be gambled with. You know, like I've I've always mentioned about boxers going in the ring and giving it their all. I'm all for that, but you don't have to do that at the cost of your life. Because life is truly precious. You know, this isn't Super Mario Brothers. You know, this ain't Contra where you can do a little, you know, fucking A, B, down, left, right, whatever, select, and, you know, you get your 99 lives and all that. You can't do stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? This is a completely different ballgame. This is real shit. A man's life is hanging in the balance. You know? Boxing is a sport first. Think of the sport. Think of, the, well, boxing is a sport, but think of life first. Think of humanity first. You know? Boxers don't need to be risking their lives, you know, risking their lives and their health for the entertainment of others. And fans, some of you asshole fans out there need to get this through your thick skulls, a bunch of knuckleheads out there. I know a lot of these boxing blogs, bloggers or vloggers, whatever, trying to talk about how a guy doesn't fight and shit like that. You go out there and put your life on the line like these other guys be putting their lives on the lines and you tell me different, you know? This is a tragic day. We all should take the Camacho family into our prayers as well as Hector Camacho. But uh, uh, other than that, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. All the, all the other mess. Like, dislike, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. But we all we need to spread the word. Humanity first. Okay, you heard it here. Humanity first. Boxing is the greatest sport in the world, but humanity first. Alright? I'm out of here. I'm about to go fill my face. And everything else. You guys take it easy. I'll be back again soon. Peace.